You're watching Market Guru on Bloomberg TV India. Joining us today is Porinju Veliath, Managing Director and Portfolio Manager at Equity Intelligence, Intelligence India. Porinju, thanks so much for taking the time out today to talk to us. Well, let's start off with getting your thoughts as far as the markets are concerned out here because the last you know, few sessions we've seen markets turn a little volatile, it's been a little choppy. What's your reading of the way developments are panning out? I feel markets have been quite steady of late. Mm -hmm. But these points going up and down, you know, people get uh, panic, especially the short-term trading community. Uh, one thing what you should understand, near to 9,000 Nifty, you know, when it moves out by, say, 60, 70 points, yeah. it is almost like, you know, Nifty moving 30, 35 points, 40 points last year. So that percentage-wise, it's not that yeah. big, but people get panic with these numbers. True. Intraday, it was up by 50 points yesterday, it came down to maybe 60 points down. It's not very, very insignificant, but still what I'm telling you, these are not enough for investors to get shaken. Mm -hmm. Maybe this can uh, wipe out small short-term traders, uh, these kind of movements. And uh, one thing now we are, I think, coming to the financial year rent, very important. Uh -huh. And I consider this year, this financial year of 2014-15, perhaps uh, one of the historic uh, ones uh, in India. Okay. In terms of, uh, you know, the way traders and active investors have created taxable income true uh, and the way uh, the investors long term investors have created non taxable capital gains yeah this is tremendous huge and like never before in the history of indian markets <laughs> i think anybody will agree with me you know, yeah. going by the quantum of money being made okay and uh, those who made will understand that and uh, the tax liability is very huge for the as i told the traders and uh, active traders active investors or short term investors so there is a tendency in march this time, like, uh, you know, historically, uh, sell the stocks which are in loss okay. so that to bring down True. Uh, the capital gains, uh, yeah. uh, or, I mean, the, the taxability. Uh, this is creating a huge opportunity for smart stock pickers. See, where you can make, where you can book losses, the stocks which are staying yeah. down, you know, maybe uh, 40, 50, maybe 60 percent uh, down from the peak of the recent peak. So those stocks have got a tendency to go down further. Okay. Some of them could be real, real values at this point of time. So that deep value thing is again coming back to the market, especially in the mid-cap and small-cap segment. I feel that is the segment, again, people should really watch for the next financial year. Maybe you can start in this March. A uh, lot of values I am seeing in the market, despite all this uh, nifty volatility or people talk about depressions. Or, and some of them, these depressions are happening on irrational uh, kind of uh, thinking in the market. You know, since you mentioned about, uh, you know, looking at some of these stocks which probably have seen a little bit of correction and probably, you know, you probably are likely to see more selling pressure on the back of the way selling could really play out due to year end. Are there any such themes that you've come across that probably one can look at right now? No, the basic theme is such, you know, look at, see, today uh, there is new fashion in the market. Look at stocks which are at the 12-month high. True. And that is advocated by many smart, the so-called smart investors in the market. But if everybody goes after that, that creates another crisis. Mm -hmm. I am telling you, this is the time to look at certain companies, stocks which are at near to one year low. Okay. And they should, of course, they should be fundamentally value. Yeah. And then if there is a technical aspect like merchant selling, mm -hmm. depress it further. Okay. I think that's a great opportunity. That's where you can find multi-baggers for next year. But have you come across any of those stocks? Have you, have you <laughs> managed to spot anything? Can you share any? No, maybe, you know probably a sector or a stock which you know which probably fits that right not really. last last uh, interview i talked about the uh, real estate companies yeah. of course dl office is doing well among that that was True. my main focus the other companies you yeah. know uh, other than dlf i think a lot of them are available at near one year yeah. lows like anandraj or a lot of this unsolved companies mm. ohm metal and uh, unique unitech so some of them are great values. Don't compare them with the too much trained infra companies like GVK or GMR kind of thing. Yeah. These companies have got solid wealth they're holding on to. Yeah. Even if the price of those, uh, you know, their land bank and kind of things goes down by 50%, still there is a gap between the price and the value. So that is why I have been, and there is selling happening on those stocks because of the Iran consideration. Most people who have bought it, uh, you know, at the near peak of recent uh, peak, it, they are in a loss. So there is a tendency to book loss. There's again an opportunity. Again, in our own portfolio management, our recent peaks you know, like uh, NAIT, Bajaj Electricals, Anandraj, these kind of stocks I am seeing very special sp selling pressure from the people who want to book loss. Yeah. So maybe that kind of uh, attraction may be not there starting March. I mean the next April. April.
You're watching Market Guru on Bloomberg TV India. We've been in conversation with Porin Juveliath over the last couple of minutes, decoding trends as far as markets are concerned. Now, Porin you know, I, I know for a fact that you're not a big fan as far as large caps are concerned. Or for that matter, the high valuation counters is what you look for value in mid caps. You, you try and hunt down stocks that probably, you know, have been ignored or where, where you see some potential, not from a, let's say, a two or three trading session point of view, but from a long term point of view. Any such stocks that, have, that you've come across right now? Of course, there are a lot of, uh, my, my focus is still on the mid-caps uh, and uh, smaller caps, what I uh, yeah. told you. No, the, the people are too confused in the market. The last week I got a call from one of my clients, I'm just telling you, Poranju, why, why we don't have uh, Sun Farm in our portfolio? <laughs> See, so what that question implies? Immediately I just remembered, you know, this man called me up in 2019. Vocat was the largest holding in our PMS. It was yeah. my, I used to be uh, recommending this stock many times. We bought a big bulk, in bulk at 120, 30 levels. Uh -huh. And that became 30% of our portfolio. But we started buying at 140, 40, it came down to 120. So this client had called me and asked, why you buy this stock? Yeah. It, has, it has come out with a huge loss. And the same person is today asking me why we don't have Sun Pharma in our portfolio. So there is a lot of meaning for these questions. I'm not blaming him. He's a highly educated person. Mm -hmm. So this is typically a lot of people behave in the market. Okay, now one person became the richest man in the world, I mean in India. Does it mean one should own the share of that uh, promoter? I don't think. You should look at the valuations yeah. and uh, the comfort, the margin of safety. If something happens with the USFD and or for this talk, I don't know. It, it, I'm not talking bad about Sun Pharma. It's a great company and it is already proven. Yeah, yeah. But is it a stock to be compulsorily have it in your portfolio at this kind of valuations? I think 2 lakh 20,000 gross valuation for a pharma company is good. It's a great company. But I'm not very keen on holding it in my portfolio. So, so clearly, you don't like the fact that, you know, a high valuation is something that, you know, you probably believe most of the factors are then priced in. So you try and hunt down for something which is looking attractive, which probably hasn't pr priced in the future growth. Definitely, and may have some small temporary negatives today, which could be curable. See, now everybody is after quality. Quality has become the key word. It's great. Yeah. Uh, that's very important also. But if, if, you know, most of the big traders or large investors go after quality stocks, the, there is a crisis because India has only 5% of listed companies into that so-called quality. Yeah. So that, that, does it mean that the remaining 95% should be out and be delisted? And there's no value. Anybody investing in that are fools. I don't think so. And, you know, a lot of companies from that 95% emerge over a period of time into the 5%. Okay. And it is in a big way. And today I'm telling you, we are at an inflection point. You see the budget provisions curbing the black money all okay. across. This is the first serious move by any governments in my knowledge about seriously curtailing the black money. It has got a lot of implication even for the stock market. See, traditionally the small not so ethical, not so honest kind of promoters who have been managing companies in a family way and all, not, not very professionally. They, they had an issue, you know, they don't like to pay the tax, yeah. so they may have siphoned out some money. And, and they used to convert a lot of that profits into black money. Mm -hmm. I think there will be major uh, uh, deterrent going forward for this kind of activity in the market, which is a, which is a major benefit for the so-called small cap, mid cap space. Okay. Because this was the biggest challenge, you know, the management quality uh, and the lack of transparency were the biggest challenges when it comes to smaller companies. People are scared of investing. People have lost money. Sure. But we are changing. We are changing towards better governance, uh, you know, more transparent deals. Even this is applicable to the so-called real estate companies. Okay. You know, a lot of smaller, uh, lower-end real estate companies listed, they used to take cash yeah, uh, when yeah. they sell the space. So, so, so let me ask you this. What, what's there in your portfolio? What, what are you looking at right now when we talk about some of these small to mid-sized companies that can be you know, future multi-baggers or even uh, future large caps? Yeah. <laughs> see, now, see if there is a fancy in the market today, it's very difficult to find a multi-bagger you know, in that, that space. Okay. And go on, everybody's chasing the same set of quality stocks. And there may be 50, 100, 200 maximum. Mm -hmm. That's all we, what we have. So, so I'm telling you, there, see the so-called, I talked about Vocart. We yeah. wanted 120, 130, 40. And even market was up by 10, 15 percent. Yeah. This stock went to 2,000 rupees. True. So what changed? Nothing changed in Vocart. Mm -hmm. The company was same, same management. They made a loss in one year for various reasons. Yeah. But that was a one-time thing. <laughs> they made a huge loss in the Forex uh, yeah. derivatives. They made a uh, big acquisition, which was not really, you know, they could, it was beyond their capacity. Okay. So there was a big debt. But the business, you know, people were not willing to listen to the valuation of the business. It was an mm -hmm. ongoing business, not affected. 
So now, later when it went to 2000, everybody wanted to buy as a quality stock. You see, again what happened? It came down to 350. Yeah. Now from 350s back to I think near to 2000 levels, okay. people have been buying it. So this kind of volatility and sometimes irrational short-term uh, movement is an opportunity for smart investors. So that smart stock pickers always have a great opportunity. Today, Nifty is uh, 8,600 or 9,000. I'm telling you, why 9,000? You will see 10,000 very soon. A lot of apprehensions, unnecessary discussion. Now people, the small investors in the villages are talking about problems in the Greece. Yeah. And America, the Fed is going to hike the rates. Oh, amazing. These are, I'm telling you, you, you cannot, these are not reasons not to buy Indian equities. These are all silly things, I would say. Now, Greece is, what is Greece? It's like, you know, it's much, the, Greeks, the Greek um, economy True. is significantly smaller than our one company, TCS. Fair enough. So there are some problems happening, the default and some so banks so lose money. Let me ask you this. How, how would you advise somebody to look at the market right now? And are there any stocks that, you know, investors can probably look at right now? And remember, this is not a short-term pick out here. It's more from a value investing point of view. Anything that you've come across? I am seeing hundreds of stocks, you know, okay. if I immediately recollect, you know, I was just looking recently some stocks yeah. like said DCM, a okay. company, set near to one year low, multi-year low, okay. actually. It's a great company. It's 140, 150 crores market cap. And this company has got, I think, nearly 1,000 crores turnover. It has got a subsidiary. It has got a huge land bank. I yeah. mean, of course, they are not into land bank business. So it's a very old company. And, uh, you know, so at 140, 50 crores, you have nothing too much to lose. And th 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 it can be multi bagger I'm not talking about a value investment or yeah. something which is 100% foolproof. I was looking at another company, Balaji Amins. Okay. You know, it's, it's around 600, 700 crores turnover mm -hmm. company. And it's available at around 230, 40 crores. Uh, and they've got a hotel worth 150 crores in, uh, in Maharashtra. And it's, they are monopoly in some of the products what they are into. Okay. Some chemical, uh, you know, they're scattered to the pharmaceutical um, okay. uh, ingredients. So there are companies like that, uh, a lot of them, see the so-called real estate companies like Anandiraj and all those things, you know, I'm not telling any particular stock you should go, but if somebody talk on, a, on the TV, a particular stock, they have a tendency, many people chase yeah. it, traders, short-term traders. I think, and it will again come down. I have had that experience. Yeah. Look at, you should, don't buy it today. If, if you find it attractive, you know, somebody, some traders buy, put in 20% circuit, it will come down. Wadilal Industries. Sure. One company, the second largest in uh, ice cream business in yeah. India. It's about 150 crores market cap. Right. It's a large company. They can become, you know, maybe 600, 700 crores in the next two years. True. And uh, it's a big brand. Maybe they are not great managements. Fair. See, they are not high quality companies. But they will, if you make a portfolio of such 10, uh, 12 stocks, they are going to outperform any Nifty, Sensex or Page Industries or Sun Farmers in this country over a period of time.